But globally, water consumption is a serious problem because as the world gets increasingly crowded, we're also getting increasingly thirsty. This is CNN Breaking News. Experts say that in the interior parts of the state, the situation is the worst they've seen in nearly 40 years. This is Sky News. With 100,000 people facing imminent death from starvation, there are fears that the famine will spread. 5.1 million people could die. 16 countries still have levels of hunger that are extremely alarming. Haiti, Laos, Timor-Leste and Yemen. This is how the ultimate solution for the world famine, desertification and drought problems looks like. The implementation of the most ambitious irrigation project ever attempted. The Israeli company Green Arava is responsible for what seems to be an impossible mission, the agricultural production in extreme conditions. I'm talking of an area that had never been uh, opened up to production. What we get here is a land, a very dry land, but there is a river that we build near it, agriculture area of 4,000 hectares, and on all this area we are going to plant maize. You see, first and foremost, the main purpose of this project was to ensure that it, uh, we are able to secure the country in terms of food security. What we have uh, seen in the last two, three years of uh, this cooperation, that Kenya can actually change its fortunes uh, from a food insecure country to food surplus country where we can export food. This miracle is so amazing on the world scale that the world leaders could not remain indifferent to it. We can no longer continue to depend on rain-fed growing of our crops. We must move to irrigation fed. This is the only way we will be able to sustain our food security needs. Green Arava is operating in the most difficult areas, like the barren Israeli desert, via the extreme climate areas in Europe, Jordan and Asia, to the company's flagship project in the recent years, the wild Galana region in Kenya. The maize that uh, we have grown uh, in Galana is now being uh, used to save lives. This is an intelligent and well-planned agriculture that starts from finding the areas suitable for growing crops via planning, land surveys and topography to hydraulical analysis, design and field implementation. We have to analyze the soil, we have to analyze what is the right grains to put, we have to know what is the draining performance of the area. There's a lot of work to do in order to optimize the project. If it is necessary to change a large river bend, it will be changed. A whole system will be built in order to reach this result. In Kenya, we require only one company, one company, that company, Green Alava. Give Green Alava 627,000 acres, and then they will be able to feed all the Kenyans. Green Arava is the most preferable company by the United Nations, national governments, and private investors. You uh, continue, uh, Uhuru, not only the great tradition of your father in advancing your country. We have uh, started under your flagship program a farm. The farm produces crops. How shall I describe those crops? cash crops. It's agriculture that brings income to Kenya. Advanced technological uh, expertise which we're getting from the Green Alava company is center five watts, the use of uh, drip irrigation. The company's high standards have been closely examined. And as we speak here, the, the Green Alava has successfully been able to roll out the 10,000 model project, which has become a very big success story. The current project of Green Arava in East Africa reveals also another side of agriculture. For the next three months, we shall also give out 90,000 uh, bags of rice. We are equally going to give around 30,000 bags of beans. People-wise, it has a good influence because this area was neglected. It was nothing. And now, in the season, we give work to around between 800 to 1,000 workers that didn't know what is money. This is the story. I open, the water is going to the cities. Since I'm employed here, I get a lot of money and I, I make everything good. I, I employ my sister, she's at school now. I am the one who pays the school fees. 
the community that emerged around the project became its close partner and an ultimate winner. This is the fridge where we keep uh, antivenom. We got tremendous help from uh, Green Arava, who supplied us with um, uh, doses of snake venom and have really saved the uh, lives of people who are beaten by snakes. According to their standard before they were employed, their standard was totally, totally down. Now most of these people, when they got their salary, they just build their own houses. Today, the company or the project has really made the life change. We give them a work, a decent place, and uh, what we are considered to be a proper life. Green Arava knows the profound knowledge that helps produce agriculture in the most impossible conditions has to be shared on. We're taking all our knowledge, we deliver it here. More than this, we take a talent group from here to Israel and teach them what is proper agriculture, what is the proper irrigation. We will also be having special uh, trainers from Israel coming to Kenya to train our students here locally. We look for the leaves, whether it is attacked by some of the diseases. And we have to in invest in training the young people in this country uh, to become farmers and to, to understand the importance of farming. It's hard to believe it, but Green Arava today is the only company in the world to carry out such trainings in the company's farms and at the private agricultural property in the areas with the most extreme climate. This is a special way to turn the trainees into the leading experts in the field. They are integrated in the projects and become the administrative leading spine long after Green Arava has finished her part in the project. No bad weather can stop the Israelis. The world media has recently unveiled the winning strategy of Green Arava. The Israeli technologies of Green Arava allow harvest twice a year. Live from Fox, this is breaking news. The goal? A system to produce food and water and energy that actually reduces the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Green Arava has succeeded where many others tried and failed. Today, the company's name is a synonym for food security, for what millions of people in the world need, water and food. This is what Green Arava knows to supply better than anyone in the world. Everybody in the village and every old man in the village is just praying for the project to grow and grow and grow and grow. And once we are able to roll it out, you're going to feed not only Kenya, but Africa. It becomes a success story across the entire world.